guys, I'm back again with another video. This week I'll be showing you my gold farm version 2. Now, it's been a while since I've played with um, Pigman for the gold. Um, there's been a, quite a few changes since the last gold farm I did build. Uh, one change is that, that I know they have a new AI system, so they don't walk on... Um, uh, signs anymore placed so they won't fall to their death. Um, I do know they walk on open hatches I did that testing a while back so they do walk on open hatches which is fantastic and um, Another big problem is mobs now freeze after I, well, I don't know how many blocks away from the player, but they freeze and they don't actually move at all so that's obviously a huge problem so I just stuck stick to doing a uh, a piston powered farm which we'll get to in a second I'll just explain that I built this thing in a giant lava like on a giant lava lake and I did a lot of renovations like uh, TNT as we could probably see I uh, there's a lot of overhangs and um, like floating islands all gone I used tons of TNT other people would use half slabs and just half slab you know all around the lake or wherever you wanted to not for not the mobs to spawn so you'd force them to spawn inside your trap but I did not do that, I just, I've got tons and tons of TNT, so I thought I'd have some fun. Anyway, so let's get down to the actual mob, the, the gold farm itself, and she's coming up, and it is massive. So as you can see in front of me, it is like a, I would say, an, an upside down tripod. Uh, with pistons so behind each wall here is a layer of pistons and then all the mobs will get pushed down to a little baby canal system in the middle and then killed um, we'll, we'll take a look inside the machine soon um, but so yeah it's took roughly ooh, I worked all Easter weekend all long weekend I had an extra weekend uh, e extra long weekend to work on this sucker but I did get it done and um, I did keep Facebook updated uh, with photos and also I went th I went through like ooh, three different designs than this which we'll get to later on so let's just go in the front door and start this door. so this is the main killing area now there is a lot of buttons I haven't marked them yet I know so these two here control all the pistons on the tripod let's just say so we've got the we've got like a kill switch and then we've got the pulse and over here we've got this one here just generates constant power so if we want the the crush to stay cru sort of crushed and then open up let some more in crush it hold them in there for a certain amount of time this controls the crusher itself and this activates the pulse so once you turn off the uh, the power and then you just turn this down hit the pulse so what will happen is the mob will fall down hit there hit there and then as soon as this crusher opens up they fall down they get crushed you stand right there you collect all the rewards and then rinse and repeat so that will open up like that so and then you can turn just give it constant power again and this will do one more cycle and it will turn off and we can actually just open up the uh, crusher itself at any time by just hitting that button so that's what those three are for yeah you can make it probably make it a lot more compact but that's how I've done it so let's take a look at the collection area so here we go so also down here I've half slabbed the ground off because you get random spawns and also we're actually underneath all oh, in the lava lake which was a bit of a pain in the bum I hate building in lava you I just use the, I've been using sand a long time ago when I built the first one people suggested just use sand uh, it's a lot easier to clear out lava so I did and um, so I built this room um, this is where we store all the gold nuggets we get so let's head back up Oop, don't get stuck close the hatch up so now I'll take you guys up the top so I've got a little side door here which uh, takes us out and up see it's gonna be a long climb so I may just uh, pause the video and get up the top okay so I'm almost up the top um, so yep okay now we're up the top see as we can have a quick look it is a, a long way down now the entire top is half slabbed off 
uh, prevent anything spawning up here and we've got a great view uh, so let's take a look straight down to show everybody what the actual inside the machine I didn't put a roof on this thing but there you go that's what the actual machine looks like so mobs will spawn to say on the uh, on the nether rack itself and um, the pistons will push them down, 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 down. Now, so the whole lot is on a timer and connected. So they go off pretty much at the same time. All of them just go dut, 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 until it gets to a little baby dot in the middle here and gets pushed down the hole and down to where you are. Now, I must stress, this thing was a pain in the bum to build. Um, oh, trial and error, that's all I can say. And a lot of falling off this damn structure, I'll tell you that for a fact. Oh, I know you can hold shift and not fall off, but when I had uh, scaffolding going up for all the redstone, redstone itself hooking all the redstone up to all the pistons, oh, that's when I had the most deaths. I'm concentrating and seeing where everything was running, and ooh, blop, <laughs> oh, it was the most annoying thing ever. So, yeah, what we'll do is actually we'll go down the ladder, because I've got access points all over the place for this thing. Uh, We've got them up there, they're down here, so let's just head down into the pit of the beast. So I can show you a bit a bit more detail, and I do have some blocks so we can get back out. Because they're a bit high, and we can't kind of jump, jump on them. Okay, so, as I said, it's the mo just say mobs will spawn up there, and they'll get shuffled all the way down and into the hole. And, the, and then right there, will, it becomes only a two wide gap and the piston will push the mobs in there. Now sometimes you'll get clockage in here. Um, I could have used a 4 but I just used a 2 there so um, it's a pretty quick gold farm. I'm really impressed on this build. Uh, uh, so I don't know how much gold per hour but it, look, it looks fantastic um, and goes fantastic which we'll get to shortly so we'll show it but we'll go back up the top. I just thought you guys wanted to get a, a view of inside the machine so what I need to do is get out of this freaking machine ah. well that's not good sorry about this I didn't want to put the ladder too far down and yes my um, diamond pickaxe has efficiently efficiency on it before anyone types, oh my god, hacks. Because I know people and trolls. Okay, so now let's get back up there. And as you may notice, there's a glass room up above us. Now, I'll explain what that's for in a, section, a second. Um, so, what it's actually for, which when I get up here, uh, over here. So, you come over here. Let me come up here. So this room here is connected to the main gate to the um, to the portal uh, that goes back home. And um, so what happened when I started building from downwards, and then I got further up the top, it was actually a lot harder to bring items from the the little um, little hut over there to here. And then so on and so on. So what I did is I've got a um, track selector back near the gate. And and I started selecting up here. So it was a lot easier to get to the top. Like get to the top faster with all the goods and stuff aboard the train. So that that's exactly why I built that. So now we're going to... What I'm going to do is get off this damn thing. So as I said, we are high up, and yes, I know there's some glowstone there I can remove, but I don't. Um, what I'll do is um, start heading down the ladder, and we're going to turn this thing on, and I'll show you how it all goes. Okay, so I'm almost near the bottom. Um, so we're going to start this big boy up, and I may warn you guys that... It's going to be really, really laggy. So, first off, what I want to do is turn it on to easy. You can turn it on a medium, hard, whatever you want to put it on. Now, yes, I do, I should, I was meant to bring some fencing down because where these two torches are, actually fencing are meant to go. 
to stop the magma cubes coming out of the crusher. Uh, by the way, just a heads up. But I was such in a rush to shoot this video. So excited. It's finally done. I want to get it up before the weekend. So on and so on. I forgot to bring them down. So it will still work with the, without the fences there. We'll just have... Might have magma cube problems. Now the second off is the noise. Oh, we need to turn the noise down. Oh yeah, it's gonna, probably going to get real noisy from all those pistons. And yeah. So what we want to do now is just turn off a constant power to the crusher itself now second thing is we want to switch this switch down which controls a sticky piston on top of the structure which turns on and off the pulse so once we hit this button obviously it's down so it's going to constantly go but if we hit that up then the pulse will turn off and the pistons will turn off it controls the giant tripod of pistons so what we want to do now is hit the button and just wait now it's probably going to take about 10 seconds per run that means like the pistons getting from the top to the bottom dropping down now it's going to take about three runs for it to warm up i reckon i'm unsure um uh, we might hit the bottom very shortly uh no mobs yet no mobs yet oh here we go perfect we got three so let's start the crusher up what we want to do turn the crusher on now as soon as these guys die hit the button and that will start a loop there we go so that's how long it takes for them to die. That's how long the crusher needs to crush them for. So we got one gold already. Oh, she's starting to increase in speed, which is fantastic. So the faster the crusher kills them, the more, the faster they respawn. Because there's only a certain limit, I'm not sure what the limit is, on how many of these suckers can spawn at a time. But there's probably a few. So, people are going to probably wonder, oh, let's grab that gold, seven gold already, oh, eight gold already, people are probably going to wonder, um, why didn't I build it, build this machine towards the ground so they, you know, use full damage to die. Um, the reason why I did that is I noticed when I was further away from the machine, I barely got any mobs. Let's turn the sound off now because that's getting annoying. So I barely got any mobs. The further away I was from the machine, it was just trickling out. So I actually moved this entire area that was standing in now upwards because it was further down. And yet we're getting a really good flow of pigmen right now. It's a constant flow. So yeah, so I moved the entire collection point upwards. Um, and the, f the closer I got to the top, I noticed they increased the spawn again. And I'm like, fantastic. So, but I went up too. I went too high the first time, and they the spawns dropped again. So it has to be. You have to stand in the right spot. It's just, I don't know. That's the way I found it. It's working fine now. So I didn't move it at all, and I got sixteen gold already, and we got a constant flow of pigmen, anywhere from one to five pigmen per run of the pistons. Whoa, that was a decent run actually. That's a lot of pigmen. We've already got twenty three gold. Oh yeah. So, that's going to constantly go on a loop and constantly work and I've pretty much explained how it works, but you can actually punch them once the signs are here. You meant to you can punch them for the XP if you want. So, it's really it is a gold farm slash XP farm, but we're going to stick with gold farm. That's all I designed. Whoa. That's all I designed it for and she's working brilliantly. Crash. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Die. Whoa. So now she's up to speed. This will be 100% speed. So we won't get any more than this. As I said, the faster the crusher crushes them, the more they spawn. So we only got three at the moment. They need to respawn up the top and get pushed back down the bottom. Are they? Yep. Oh, oh only a couple. So yeah, so she has her moments. She doesn't have her moments. But 30 gold pieces already, just while I was talking to you guys. 32 gold pieces. And the pig man still coming. So yeah, as I said, fences are meant to go there to stop the lava cubes coming out. And I can readjust this. I've got plenty of room out the back to put more pistons in. I can make the kill point larger if I if I wish. Um, as I said, you just really sit AFK here uh, where the fences are meant to sit and you grab all the, the loot. Um, and you're nice and safe in this room. It's just a nice square box. You've got no problems. Half slabs are pretty much everywhere to stop them spawning. 36 gold. So that's going to continuously build up well, it's going to continue. It's a gold farm. Oh, that's a nice amount. So 
Uh, she'll be at full. She's at full now. This is full speed. But 39 nuggets already. Oh, it's probably the fastest gold farm I've ever built. Crush. <laughs> 40 nuggets. 41 nuggets. Almost a stack of 64 already. So I think what we want to do now is people are going to want to see the pistons go. So what I'm going to do is turn it. Turn the. Um, Turn, leave the crusher on just for now. We got 46 nuggets. We'll leave it at that. Put it back onto peaceful so we can get down in the machine and I'll show everybody how the when the pistons are going. And we want to turn off. Turn the power straight back on. We want to turn off the crusher. So the crusher's now off. And we can turn some sound back on finally. We'll just put it about 20%. We'll do. Now we'll 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 leave this um we'll leave the pistons going up the top and what we'll do is head up there now. So now you guys know how decent it works. We've got 40 second seven nuggets just out of that little farm. I'll head up the top and we'll continue this tour. Okay, guys, now I'm standing on top of the the actual, well, inside the um, farm itself. And as we can see, the pulses are coming down slowly and it is laggy as all hell on my PC right now. It goes right down and that's all it does. As I said about, ooh, not even 10 seconds to get the top to the bottom. It's all the way down. Eventually, as you can see, it's getting out of t out of sync, and then it sinks back up. I know I've got to adjust all the pistons back again, but it's still, it works fantastic. It just, it's probably the best gold farm I've ever built. So, now I think I'm going to get out of this hole. Um, go got rid of those two yeah i thought you have to stand on the platform because if you're in there it'll push you inside the actual farm itself <laughs> so let's go up um so i'll get out of this and we'll turn the machine off itself and as you can see further away you get the glitchy the pistons get the the pistons are actually in you, as soon as you look at them as you said they like glitch back in like that so don't worry that's just a, a like a visual glitch not an actual physical one so i'll get out of this and uh i'll go turn the machine off eh okay so we're gonna go turn the machine off now uh I really some put some stairs in here I gotta watch out for that lava too <laughs> i don't want to fall in so what we want to do to turn off the machine is i can hear the pistons going upstairs constantly just hit that switch and that will eventually bring my frame rate back up but uh so yeah that is how this gold farm works uh, there's probably going to be a lot of questions and all that stuff. Um, probably the best advice I can give you from building this machine or this farm is that probably the key location where you stand it affects where the, how the mobs are spawning. I noticed where it is, sti where I'm standing now is the I get the perfect amount of mobs. It's like Oh, and the faster the, the faster the crusher crushes them all, the faster they fall to their death of whatever you have, the better. So also half slab everything. Even all the um, redstone and everything are all half slabbed on top of it to prevent them spawning everywhere that's free is half slabbed on purpose to help prevent mobs spawning outside and spawning inside because um, if you didn't do that, they'll spawn everywhere but inside your damn machine. And yeah, it's a pain in the butt. But yeah, as I said, it was a lot of work to get this thing going. Um, I did a lot of farming for the iron. The iron was the most really pain in the butt thing. But I had plenty of iron. I spent all week black doing mining. And then I spent um, from Friday to Monday just on this thing. On, 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 on. So it did take a quite a while. But... Pretty much all it is is just piston, pistons, pistons, pistons. That's all you got to stack, and then you've got to put a nice shell on it to make it look decent. So, you know, it's not too, too bad. It's just um, falling to your death off the scale scaffolding into the um, lava lake is a bit of a pain in the butt. And um, people are going to... and You need to build in the middle of a lava lake or somewhere. If you don't build in the middle of a lava lake, you need to put half slabs down everywhere. To prevent them spawning outside in any trap but anyway guys um thanks for watching this video please subscribe thumbs up comment um and i'll catch you all later